welcome to another video episode of my podcast. My name is Cheryl and this is Cappuccino Crafts, my little channel on YouTube and my corner of the general interwebs where I like to talk about knitting and a bit of crochet and also books that I'm reading or listening to and TV or movies that I'm watching and enjoying, and other general life and chatty stuff. Thank you for watching this video and choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope that um, if you feel like it, we can chat in the comments. If you have any questions, or I might ask a question, and if you want to join in any of the um, topics or talk about your crafting, then that is very welcome. And let's settle in. Please get yourself a delicious beverage of your choice, whatever you like, and get out your yarn, your hook, your needles, or maybe your embroidery project, or some fiber and your spinning wheel. And let's get started. Okay. It's Monday again. <laughs> the it's yeah, time seems a little weird right now. But um it was a pretty pretty okay week. Um there was another cozy reading night. Lauren of Lauren in the Books uh decided and announced that um, during this whole time um, when so many people are staying home that um, until further notice um, she's going to have cozy reading night every other Friday until until whenever um, so Friday the third I think it was the third um, today is Monday the 6th of April so Friday the third um, was the next cozy reading night and I think it's a wonderful idea because if anybody and if anybody of you watch and <laughs> any of you watching um, kind of weren't able to join in in the cozy reading night, but it sounded like fun to you, there's going to be plenty of chances you can always join the next one, um, which should be the 17th, if I did my math right. I just joined in at home and had a great time. Uh, the that day I did do a grocery run and our grocery store has a really good deli section with a whole bunch of prepared foods and a lot of it they make there so I was able to get some sushi which is a special thing that I love now this is grocery store deli sushi so not like the amazing sushi of my dreams but still it was a form of sushi and I haven't had that in a good while so I had some um, I had that it was a rainbow roll and four pieces of nigiri two salmon and two tuna and I had some wine with that while I ate and drink my wine. I was listening to The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton. I am loving this book so much and I think it's a really good audiobook too. I recommend listening to it. Uh, and I also started a new project. I will show it to you later. But I started a, a crochet project. Uh, so for the last part of the cozy reading night, 
I um, put down my crafting and I picked up The Good People by Hannah Kent and just laid down and relaxed and read that book. Uh, I think I got another chapter and a half in. Um, and it's very good too. I think it would be a good one to listen to. And then the next day, I actually looked to see if my library had an audiobook version available. And I was able to put a hold on the audio book at my library. And they said that the wait was only a cup of like several days. It's not available yet, but hopefully like sometime this week, uh, that hold will come through and I will be able to listen to the, the audio book from the library because this is set in Ireland. And a long time ago in Ireland, uh, the way they talk and some of the words they use, um, she actually includes some phrases in Irish language and, and the names and the, the people names and the place names. I don't know how to pronounce them. So hearing it would be really helpful to me. And I think I would also enjoy um, for the atmosphere hearing that accent for a while for the characters. Um, I'm not sure if I'll finish it all on audio or if I'll go in between reading the physical book and uh, listening for a while um, to hear that language. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about that and do, 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 do. That was Cozy Reading Night. And let's talk about the, um, the in-progress projects that I have. I split for the sleeves for my branches and buds pullover. So glad and it's so much easier now on the needle it's not nearly as bunched up after the final um, round of increases for the yoke the la and then I did four more rows after the increase after um, so man those last rows it was so bunched up on the needles <laughs> so many too many stitches on this needle and I'm like it's not worth it to switch out to a longer cord I'll just have to go back to a shorter cord when I'm on the body I just gritted through but I'm glad it is not as bunched up anymore and it's starting to look like a thing instead of some weird bunchy blob. Yeah, starting to look like a thing. Love it. And here is my current spot on, this is the first piece of a front and a back for the streamline tank. A summer top and I am liking the stripes it's making it even more fun and I love the colors together and my package came from from my order so I have one more gray and one more aqua mint to split between the front and the back to make it long enough so it's not like a <laughs> bikini top. <laughs> I don't want it so short and this is not going to be long but it should be a reasonable length now. Um, anyway so 
Do you want to see the yarn that came for... This is the bag that they put... It came in a box, and all of the yarn was in this bag inside the box. Do you want to see what else came? This is for a stranded color work project. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've already got planned the next stranded color work that I'm doing. And let's take a peek. I ordered, these are all um, from Rauma Phenolgarn, 100% wool. And it is not super wash. It's that kind of lightly processed. I'm not sure if this is worsted or woolen spun. I don't know. But um, it's a very good yarn. A lot of people use this for color work. And I wanted to try it because everybody that I've see, heard that uses it loves it. So I'm going to give it a try. This is a neutrally beige color, kind of a background color. Here is a bright yellow. I was hoping it might be a little bit more orangey. But it's still bright and I wanted something bright and this fits the bill. It's a very pretty bright yellow. So this is a cornflower blue, which is so pretty. I love that bluey purpley cornflower color. It's like, yeah. Kind of right in between purple and blue. And this was called Berry. And it's a lovely red. It's a really beautiful red. So, here are the colors. And I actually, there was a fifth color that I meant to order. But it was the last color that I found on the when I was looking at the colorways and I thought that I had put it in my cart but I actually didn't put it in my cart <laughs> so it did not get ordered but uh, generally the they're asking for a medium gray and that's kind of what I found and I would have ordered it but <laughs> I thought about my stash and I think I have a gray from Blacker Yarn that I have in a, with a couple of other colors for another sweater. I, I had two, I ordered two tones of gray and an orange as striping was my idea. Um, so I think the darker gray from that group from Blacker Yarns will be about a similar uh, weight, a similar size to this, and um, hopefully a, a good color, uh, not too dark. Um, but we'll see. I'll, I, I'll have to look for that when I am ready to start swatching and I don't know when that will be no idea so have to think about that later if that idea from my stash doesn't work out at the time then I might need to place an order but who knows when that will be Anyway, so I have some finished objects to show you what? First.
first what you might expect to see my finished socks these are my just basic vanilla stripey sock in a croy and a patents croy striped colorway called coastal stripes and they will be very cozy to wear i also i told you that i had started a new project on cozy reading night and i did i started a bookmark i didn't finish it that evening but i finished it the next day and here is the pineapple upside down bookmark isn't it beautiful and I've never done a crochet pineapple ever before. I've um, seen projects with the pineapple stitch. And I've seen, um, you know, it's kind of a classic. It's kind of a crochet classic, the pineapple. But I've never, ever, ever done it. And I did it. And I used, it, it's a free pattern, the pineapple upside down bookmark. It is a free pattern. Um, this could totally be just me because I am not a super experienced crocheter and I have a lot harder time reading crochet patterns than I do with knitting patterns. So um, take this with a grain of salt. But I did have some questions while I was reading the pattern. I didn't feel like it was the most clear, um, even compared to some crochet patterns that I've read before, because there have been some crochet patterns that I was just like, oh, I get it. And I didn't have any disconnect. But um, this is a free pattern. So... You know, you always take a chance with the free patterns. They don't always pin out the way that you want. Um, I did get a beautiful finished object, and it looks like the photos that she took and the photos that she had saved this project for me because there were two or three points where I just couldn't grasp the instructions but I was able to look carefully at the photos and just from the photos just kind of I think uh, I think it looks kind of like that and just kind of figured out how I could make it work for me what I thought and it worked out great and once I'd done it, I was like, okay, now the whole thing makes sense. Um, and I had so much fun doing that, and I was so happy with it. The very next day, I did this yesterday. And, yeah, I did this yesterday. Not in one sitting. Nope, not in, not, not all in one sitting but um i started it in the morning and came back to it a few times and before i went to sleep i finished it and i have two beautiful pineapple upside down bookmarks this is a scrap of crochet thread size 10 crochet thread in cotton and this is some aunt lydia's crochet thread size 10 the um aunt lydia's bamboo crochet so this is all bamboo this is extra extra floppy extra drapey very soft and 
this cotton has a lot more body than the bamboo. It's still a little bit drapey, but it's not really floppy floppy. Now, I haven't blocked it. I haven't soaked it. That might make it a little softer. But just the feel of the thread. This was a little bit more splitty, not as easy to work with. This was much easier to crochet with the little tiny hook. Um, it did not, it was not splitty at all. But they are both so beautiful. I love them both. <laughs> and I will use one or both of them at the next cozy reading night <laughs> for sure. They will go in my next physical book that I pick up to read. And do 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 do. I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, I hope you are doing well. Um, yeah, and I hope you and all your family and loved ones are well take care um we'll get through all this and i hope that your projects are helping you get through i know mine are and your books if you're if you're reading or watching anything you're watching oh i'll talk about that another time <laughs> sorry Anyway, in anything you're watching or reading, I hope that's getting you through. And take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.